we have got ACM award-winning Riley Green, who's gonna come out and chat with us. Riley? Here he is. I was just telling Riley, I grew up in Illinois, in Peoria, Illinois, where the world headquarters for Caterpillar is, which was like the least cool thing in the world, and now it's the coolest the thing coolest, to wear. Yeah. I know. I feel like I should have bought stock in Caterpillar some time ago. How are you? How's your CMA vest? This is... I can't really complain. Mine's been pretty easy so far, but I think it's going to get busy here in a little bit. Yeah, and I also feel like this is probably the least humid weather we've ever had for CMA Fest. Like I keep like, looking outside and expecting it to just pass out, but uh, it's not that bad, really. It's kind of been nice, a little breeze, and everybody seems like they're excited. Yeah. I, a lot of people who I like follow on social media or call into the show are always like, what is CMA Fest? And I always have, like, how do you describe it to people who have never been? There's not really anything like it. Mayhem. <laughs> it's a... Uh, <laughs> Man, it's, it's uh, one of the biggest gatherings of, you know, everybody. I mean, everybody's a part of it in some way. There's a million different stages, sir. And uh, <laughs> it's just cool to kind of be out in the middle of it. And, I mean, you know, you, you're running from this place to the next, trying to catch the stage in time. And uh, I've never gotten to experience this as a fan. But uh, one of these days, maybe I'll slip out in the crowd and get to watch one of these shows. I always say that it's kind of like Comic-Con for country music. Like people are waiting in line for autographs. Everybody's dressed up a little differently than normal. I've never been to the comic book show, but I've heard about it, I guess. <laughs> a comic book show. I love that. So you just wrapped up your Ain't My Last Rodeo tour. What were some of the highlights from that? Uh, well, Ella Langley was great. Uh, opened that show, and Tracy Lawrence was out, who's a legend. I'm a huge fan of Tracy Lawrence. It was... Uh, it was just kind of great to be able to watch their set and, and see, you know, my fans interact with them and how well their stuff went over. And it kind of gives me that extra hope that all these young fans at my show are singing Tracy Lawrence songs. You know, uh, we played Red Rocks, a sold out show at Red Rocks. That was really cool. So it's just it's been a great tour all the way around. And I was just kind of glad to be a part of it. I thought for sure you were going to say a highlight would be bringing John Daly out on stage the other night. <laughs> was that a highlight or was it? <laughs> uh, it went really well, you know. <laughs> He's a he's a character. It's, it's hard to it's hard to bring somebody like that out on stage because his personality is so much bigger than mine. <laughs> you know, he almost enjoys it more than me. So it's hard to drag him back off the stage. I was going to say, how long was he out there? Um, as long as I would let him be. <laughs> I had to physically go and get the mic I'm from back him. Back in, John. That's so funny. You have got a new single out. Talk about this song a little bit and the story behind it. Yeah, uh, "Damn Good Day to Leave" is what I like to call a fun breakup song, if there is such a thing. Uh, it was a really cool song to write and. Uh, I just, I like that you can kind of be, you know, lighthearted about it and, and uh, you know, it's, uh, it's a fun song for me to play because I get to see those reactions, these lines that are, you know, I think every guy's kind of been through that thing before where, you know, he's, he's sad she's gone, but he doesn't have to watch a marathon of The Bachelorette that night, so. Kind of like reminiscent of like old school Brad Paisley, a little bit. Yeah, right? Brad like, Paisley touched on those type of things. I'm going to miss her. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's kind of like what makes, makes me think of it. So you've got a really big thing. I feel like you're going to check off the bucket list. You're going to get to go play Hyde Park in a few weeks with Morgan Wallen. How are you feeling about that? I'm, as soon as I get there, I'll be really excited about it. Just, I'm not looking forward to the long flight. But uh, it's such an iconic venue. You know what I mean? You can always tell when a show's announced, the uh, social media around it and the excitement. Everybody's really fired up for that show. So it's going to be awesome for me and my first time going uh, to the UK. And that's all for the 4th of July, right? Yeah, we're going to do the 4th of July in another country. I thought that was really funny. I was like, we're taking like the most American lineup back to England for the 4th of July. <laughs> it actually sounds right. It'll work. <laughs> I mean, we'll try it. Huh? It's going to be great. It's going to be a really fun time. Now that the tour is wrapped, album came out last fall. What are you working on right now that you're most excited about? Uh, well, I'm in the studio, you know, constantly writing and uh, we're recording some new music and I try to put out another album later on this year. Already? Yeah, I don't see why not. Yeah? While people are listening, we're going to try to... Okay, so tell me, what have you been writing that you're excited about? Anything lately that you're like, well, I, I feel real uh, good about that? Uh, I think something that I really liked about uh, this last EP way out here was that it had a lot of different types of songs on it. Uh, songs like Worst Way, that I, I don't write a lot of love songs, so for something like that to do as well as it is, it's kind of cool for me to be able to see and kind of eye-opening. I don't think there's any better teacher for a songwriter than fans. And uh, seeing the reaction, being out on tour and seeing what songs really resonated. So I kind of took that knowledge and tried to write the next album to be a lot of what people seem to like. So a lot more love songs then? It may be a couple on there, yeah. Maybe a couple on there. I'm sure the Heartbreak songs as well. What else are you looking forward to? I feel like you're always out hunting. I have no idea what's in season right now. Are you going to do any of that? 
It's, it's touring season. I, they, they all get a break until September. <laughs> and then you're back out there. Back Riley out there. Green, thank you so much for coming to see us. What are you looking forward to about doing next at CMA Fest? Uh, to be honest, it's just kind of cool to be able to catch some of these you know, people that I'm a huge fan of, but all these acts that I don't really get to see too much because we're all on the road and now we're all in the same town and passing by each other going on and off the stage. So looking forward to saying hello to everybody and getting to catch up. I was going to say, because I feel like everybody probably thinks like, oh, country artists all hang out all the time, but you guys aren't really ever here at well, the if, same if, time. If things are going well, you're pretty busy. Yeah. So it's, <laughs> it's, uh, it's nice to be able to see everybody in town for a day or two. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for making the time to come up here and see us for CMA Fest. Everybody give it up for Riley Green. Yeah.